Houston Station on Space to Ground. Space Station is feeling the summer travel traffic too. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Haley Fick. This week saw the packing and unpacking of visiting cargo vehicles. Like back-to-back -back vacations or a big summertime move, the Space Station crew is spending their days unpacking and repacking too. More than three tons of supplies arrived aboard the Progress Russian cargo ship on June 16th. But someone has to unpack all of those and store them in the correct areas of the Space Station. Likewise, the Dragon cargo craft that arrived on June 5th is due to disembark on July 2nd. After offloading science experiments, spacewalking gear, and station hardware, it is now being loaded with used station gear and research samples for analysis upon its return to Earth. One of the deliveries from the SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle was the Rollout Solar Array, or ROSA. After being extracted from Dragon's trunk by the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm, ROSA was put to the test in the summer sun outside of Space Station on June 18th. The flexible solar array that rolls out like a tape measure or a party horn could offer substantial cost savings and increased power compared to current bulky heavy panels. The real party favor is all the data being collected for investigators back on Earth to evaluate how well it stands up to the extreme temperature and microgravity conditions. This week's question comes from Ava in Ms. Robolata's fifth grade class. She wants to know what tests are going on at the ISS. Amongst all the materials, life sciences, and technology research being conducted on station, there's one big test that might get you and me closer to a vacation in space. The Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, is an experimental habitat that's been attached to space station since May 2016. Astronaut Jack Fisher entered BEAM this week to perform regular air and surface checkups and install a new radiation shield that was 3D printed on orbit. Expandable habitats that weigh less and take up less volume could reduce the cost and number of launches needed for deep space missions like landing humans on Mars. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.